second race, second half of the Daily Double. These are conditioned trotters racing one mile, a field of 10 going postward, nine minutes until post time. Number one is Hyatt Hill, owned by Joanna Beaver of Delaware. Chris Beaver trains and drives. The two, Bye Bye Tara, owned by Daryl Lambert of Canal Winchester. Doug Parker, the trainer with Dave Miller. Three, Vector Champ, owned by Alan Bloom of Worthington. Mike Hughes, the trainer for Dave Myers. Four is Astor Park, owned by Mary Davis of Delaware. Ken Edwards, the trainer driver. Five, what a message, owned by Leonard Buckner of Mount Eaton. The trainer should read Tom Brinkerhoff. The driver is Jim Perry, Jr. Number six, Jolene's Hope, owned and trained by William Lane of Frankfurt. Justin Hall drives. Seven, Treasure Always, over the Arden Homestead Stable of Goshen, New York. Al Gobble, the trainer driver. Number eight, Sparkling Danube, owned by Daryl Whitaker of Delaware and uh, Laura Samuels of Dublin. Daryl Whitaker trains and drives. Number nine is the leader, Sombra. John Busey is the owner-trainer. Jeff Fount is the driver. And the 10, Imperial Victory, owned by Jim Shunk of Overland Park, Kansas. Ken Rolko is the trainer. Bert Ashbrook is in the sulky. One play show perfected. Trifecta wagering eight minutes remain now until post time. Second race, condition trotters lining up, moving in. On the back stretch, there they go. And uh, they're off, and what a message away promptly from mid track for the lead. Off the rail is Hyatt Hill, and from between horses, third by Bonterra. Early fourth, it's Astor Park, and angling into five, it's Vector Champ. At the rail in six, Jerlene's Hope jumping it off early. Outside leader Sauber now finds a stride, but it's parked three wide as they fire through that first turn. Underway is Sparkling Danube on the inside. Racing ninth Imperial Victory in Australia, the trailer, the two-year-old treasure always. Opening quarter 28 and four, a brisk opening panel here, and what a message has been parked every step of the mile. Hyatt Hill stringing him out here on the inside will now let him go for the cover. Then there's a gap of four lengths to Bye Bye Terra. Astor Park to the outside trots fourth. Vector Champ in the pocket is fifth. Geraldine Soap is right there, gapping is sixth. To the outside and seventh, Sparkling Danube. At the rail saving ground is Imperial Victory. They approach the half, and a Wanda message. Now the leader leads here a length and a half, two. Half and 59 and three fifths. Hyatt Hill on the inside trots second. And to the outside, Astor Park. He's been parked the entire mile. He still shows trot. He's now third. Bye bye, Terra. At the rail is trotting it fourth, and with cover to the outside of fifth. Here comes Sparkling Danube as they fire down the back stretch. And now three wide. Leader Sabra making his bid for the lead, but he jumps it off again. And that gives Vector Champ racing room as he angles off the wood. And Imperial Victory is also underway. Here's the three quarters now 130 and two fifths as they round the final turn. What a message leads by two. On the inside is Hyatt Hill, and on the outside, Sparkling Danube is right there within striking distance, a 17-to-1 shot, looking for the upsets. As they turn for home now, less than an eighth of a mile to go, and with the lead, what a message. Hyatt Hill comes to the outside, bye-bye, Terra, down to the inside as they trot into deep stretch. What a message, clings to the lead, Hyatt Hill at 13-to-1 on the outside, Wolf gets the job done. What a message, hangs game, Hyatt Hill was second with Bye Bye Terra third. And here is the official winner of the second race. Number five, what a message. A three-year-old Ohio bred son of Carry the Message from the Lincoln Land Tad Mare Whirling Success. A homebred owned by Leonard Buckner, Mount Eaton, Ohio, trained by Tom Brinkerhoff. Nicely handled tonight by Jim Perry, Jr. His first start of the season, his first career win, he earns a mark of two minutes and a three-fifths.